everyone. Well, hello. Today I'm going to do my products favorites and just know I'm on my webcam. I do have this light on, but um, let me see if I can make it a little bit better. Y'all, that doesn't look better to me. Let me adjust the lighting maybe a little bit. Is that lighting better to me? That that one is better than this one. Yeah, that's not giving much lighting. But we're going to go with this, you guys. I know that, the, that this is not the best recording because y'all know how webcams is like. Um, I'm not in front of a window because... I don't want to be, and plus I've got all of my, my other vanities on this side, so I really don't have no room anyways to even turn the laptop that way to get all the great lighting. I do have this, um, like, web conference, is it conference? Yeah, web conference, like, light, but is it the best? It's good for at night or... <clears throat> When you're surfing the internet and you don't want to turn on your lights or whatever, it's a wonderful light for that to look at the internet and all. But as far as vi videography, as you can see, it's not the best of lighting, but it's not the worst. I do think that this lighting is better than not having lighting at all. So today I'm going to do my product favorites. I think the last one I did was, was it January and February favorites? I think it was. If not, it's going to be February, March, and April. <laughs> I can't remember the last favorites I did. I know it was January. I think it was January and February. Let's hope it was, okay? It was something like that. It had to been January, February, or February, March. I don't re recall, but I think it was January and February. But anyways, for the last uh, couple months, you guys... I have been using these products and some I just recently got. So I'm going to put the most recent ones over here. And then the ones that I've been using for a while, I would consider at least at least two weeks or more is what I'm talking about. I would keep this over here in this stack here and the most recent over here on this side. But they are favorites of mine. Now, I do have a little update at the end of the video or I can start right now. Um, before I start into my product favorites, or better yet, let's do the product favorites first. All right, you guys. So, real quick, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Now, the newest products that I've purchased is the Physician's Formula Essence of, it's called the Essence of Health Toner and Setting Spray. Um, I seen this at Walmart and it was like way, like there was two bottles, but it, you could tell people had bought it and it was way in the back of the shelf. And I thought, wow, this must be really good because like it was almost completely sold out. So, um, I went ahead and picked up one of them and I thought I would try it. Now this is, uh, this has 95% galactomites i don't know y'all i can't pronounce that stuff just know that it says it's a toner and setting spray in one um it's a powerful treatment formulated with um 95 percent of that whatever galsamites uh filtrate to visibly brighten hydrate and soften texture it's packed with vitamins antioxidants minerals amino acids and natural acids to condition and visibly enhance skin's radiance and it's a multi-action and multifunctional treatment that can be used as a toner and setting spray so i do use this as a setting spray because you can use it as just a toner and also as a setting spray now i like it because what i noticed is to me, my face, when it says it gives you a nice radiance, it does. You can see where my face is radiant. And I, I don't consider this as oiliness. Because trust me, if it was oily, my makeup would not be in place. Like my contour would be like a total mess. My contour and stuff is still in place. So this does set my face. 
But like I said, it doesn't cause too much oiliness, in my opinion, because it's supposed to provide some glowing. Um, to It's supposed to provide your skin or help your skin to glow um, or shine, have a beautiful natural shine. But um, with that being said, it's not oily or anything like that. Now, what I really notice about this product, though, that's a little bit aggravating is that I love the fact, first of all, I love the fact that it has a fine mist spray. And I'll spray it right now. You'll see. See how fine that is? Very fine. It comes out very soft. In fact, it, it comes out as if nothing's coming out. It's like nothing's going on your face. But when you look at your face, you'll tell because your face is a little wet or a little, you, you can tell, you can tell when you get done. It's like, oh, okay, I see it. But when you spray it, you don't feel it that much. And, but the thing is the smell of it is really strong. And I think it's because it has that toner in it. That whatever this is, this G-A-L-A-C-T-O-M-Y-C-E-T-S. Is it E-S? E-S. Okay. So that right there, that product right there, I think may be why this is so strong. It's a little strong. Like when you spray it, your nose burn just a little bit. And I don't think it should, I don't think, you know, sprays should burn your nose i know that i've tried all kind of setting sprays and that's one thing i've never experienced but i have experienced like uh like a nice perfume smell or a certain smell that i might go like this but it doesn't actually burn the nose now this will burn your nose and that's the only aggravating thing about this product but outside of that, I do like this setting spray because I feel like it's going to be a good one for the summer. Um, I'm thinking about maybe I need to, instead of holding it just this far back and spraying it, maybe I need to go out a little further and spray it and not have the uh, bottle so close. Um, maybe that will work. I'm trying to make this work because I do think it's going to be a good setting spray for the summer because it also, I'm thinking it has vitamin C in it, um, because it's supposed to help hydrate and soften the skin and stuff like that. So I think this will be good in the summer to keep your skin hydrated, but yet also to help out with you not actually damaging your skin with makeup because you can i know this you can do that like have you noticed that how some people have absolutely i don't know if y'all have noticed it but i have and and it's very easy to do if you wear makeup a lot and then you love to go out in the hot humidity and say you don't and a lot of times we don't put spf on the eyes i know i will not that's not that's something that you sh should not do and so when you put on all these eyeshadows especially if you're a person that love eyeshadows you can actually stain your eye eyelids from the eyeshadow um sometimes it's pertaining to the the primer that you use with the mix of the sun rays okay i know some of y'all probably said girl you be talk, telling us all kinds this is real uh the sun rays that's why it's good to use spf and stuff and i think that that's one thing that should be put on the market is a an eyelid primer that will also protect your eyelids if that would be a good invention um because it's so many women that has stained eyeshadow marks on their eyelid and that's because we don't get to put spf on the eyelids we can put it all over our face but not the eyelids not that i know of i don't know of an um spf product that you can put on your eyes so what I'm saying is having a great a, a like setting spray like this, that's also a toner, something to help, um, help out with 
visible signs of like say whatever it softens a lot what does it say it says it brightens hydrate and soften texture this would be something nice to spray because you can spray this all over your face just close your eyes and just spray it once and then you have a little bit of something to help out with the eyelids as far as the makeup on your eyelids because it's supposed to set your makeup so this would be a good one y'all y'all get what i'm trying to say but the smell of it i'm trying to figure out what i can do it does burn my nose this burn my nose a little bit but i do like it and i'm putting it in my favorites although i'm still trying to figure out how far back i need to go to spray this and this actually set my makeup without my nose burning okay so this is the physician's formula the the essence of healthy um is the toner and setting spray okay very nice the next product is the retinol eye gel okay by skincare cosmetics now y'all know i love the instant um what is it instant radiance booster i have it over there i'm not gonna put this in my favorites because i've done it so many times but i used to put it underneath my eyes and it would produce like this radiance and but when you put on your concealer you do not see that so i saw the actual eye gel and i thought okay the instant um radiance booster is not specifically for the under eyes it's for all over the face so I thought I would get one that's from the same brand that is really for the under eye area. And this is it. It's green in color and then it has those little beads in there. And those beads are very soft. And I think that's the little bit of retinol that they have in this eye gel. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I love this. I feel like this really has helped my under eyes as well as the instant a radiance booster um like i have told y'all over here that a lot of times i don't get enough sleep but when i do get enough sleep my under eyes does not be so puffy and um uh, not puffy but it doesn't be so like the fine lines and stuff doesn't pop out as much and my under eyes look more healthier when i get a good night's sleep so anything that will help out with that is a good thing and i know that this eye gel by skincare cosmetics is written on one is amazing okay this is really good to put underneath the eyes and just blot it is it blotty or tap it tap it in and just um tap it in real nicely and get that um benefit from this eye gel because this right here is like so important to me because i just do not get no rest in here and you're gonna find out why at the end of this video this is amazing stuff i like it and just know that this is not like the hardcore retinol pro product i don't have like like wrinkle like my skin doesn't wrinkle or anything like that so it has a minimum amount of retinol but this is very very good um i like it and i put it on every morning you can put this on morning and night but i only use it in the morning and this also moisturizes my under eye but yet my under eye does not never be oily even though it supplies moisture because it's got that little retinol in it that's why all right so another favorite of mine is the revlon color stay prep and protect primer this has a broad spectrum of 34 and so this is the, this is pretty good that's a pretty good amount of spf i feel like i'm going to use this just as an spf product i'm not gonna prop i probably won't use this underneath my like makeup because when i use this underneath my makeup i think that it gives gives off this like it just kind of messes up your foundation i guess it depends on what foundation you use let me just put it that way maybe the foundation that i use 
that particular two days may not work well with this. But I did use this alone one day without makeup, put it on, and I put on some mascara and a little liner, and it worked out very well. I do think that this is a great product as an SPF product on its own, or you can use this underneath your makeup as your SPF and your primer. Um, I like it just by itself, just like on one of those days when I'm just going to, you know, put something on and then just put some mascara on and just go and do what I got to do and come back. This product is amazing for that. However, when the warmer months, when it gets warmer, we need the SPF underneath our makeup. We need to protect our skin. So I might just end up using this as a primer and an SPF product, or I will buy a separate SPF product to use underneath my makeup and just use this alone. Cause I think this is really nice all by, by itself. Um, as a skin protector against the sun rays and all of that. And yeah, I just put on a little mascara, little lipstick and you're good like something about that that is so good just by itself um so yeah all right here's some stuff that is i've been using it for a while um one of them i think i've already mentioned it to y'all or either shown y'all in a video this is the garnier miracle skin cream anti-aging skin transforming care i really like this i love this product because this product right here it adjusts to your skin tone. So this would be great with this primer by Revlon because this is just like a regular, it's a, it's a skin cream, but it's like a, uh, not a CC cream, but like more like a BB cream. Uh, this is very light coverage, okay? So I feel like I can use this Revlon Color Stay Prep and Protect base with 34 percent um sunscreen protection and then put this on top of it if i want a little bit more coverage and not just go completely bare um but i do think that this may have spf in it let's see what it says um it's an anti-aging skin transforming care um it's um Mm, some of this stuff I can't know. I cannot read it. That's all it says. I don't have the box. The box had more um, info about it, but it is an anti-aging type of cream that blends into the skin and it does add a little bit of coverage. So this will be nice on the go product. That's what I like to use it for. If I'm really on the go and I need to just put something in my hands, rub it together and just go across my face to add something on, this will be the product that I will use. And it is really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy and it just, it feels like you're putting something on that is good for your skin as well. I do not have the packaging, but there's a lot of good benefits with this product and um, that to help out with the skin. So it's good to have something like this um, on your skin. Another two products that has been a favorite is these mascaras, really quick. Uh, this one here that everybody talks about, the Maybelline Lash sensational sky high mascara i've had this for a while but y'all i don't like it on my lashes i know some of y'all probably gonna say what i've seen the results i've seen people use it i've seen people show how this looks on their lashes and how long their lashes look i've seen all of that but for me, I don't like the way this feels on my lashes. That's just my personal opinion. I feel like it's I feel like it's one of those mascaras that feel like a fiber mascara. That's what it feels like. But if I'm not mistaken, this isn't described or nor does it have fibers in it. But when I put it on, my lashes feel really thick. And whatever that is that thick, thick, that feels thick on my lashes, I think that's what helps the lashes to look longer or whatever. That's my personal opinion. I don't like the way that feel on my lashes. 
Um, now, listen, I want to say this. Now, if you ain't had any kind of eye injury or anything like that, you may not even feel that. Because I used to use a lot of mascaras. Um, and I never felt like any discomfort or anything like that much at all. Um, it's just I liked it, some of them, and some of them I didn't like. But this one right here, like I said, I've had an eye injury, so my eyes may be... Like, my lashes could be a little more sensitive than yours. Um, but I do not like this on my lashes. What I do like this for is my brows. Um, I feel like my brows, I could get that really uplifting uh, type of uh, brow look. You know, I can't get them real bushy, but I can get them a little thick and have them pushed up. You know, in that, like, wild bush, bushy like look y'all know what i'm talking about i don't know the name of it but y'all know what i'm talking about like i can really push my uh brow hairs up a good bit and so i like that or this mascara for that reason i don't like it on my lashes now this one i love this is the maybelline new york marvel i think that's what it's called colossal uh mascara it looks like this it looks like this right here. It's in a gold and black packaging. Um, this is absolutely beautiful. I love this because my lashes look natural. I do have this on, but I have a mix of the um, L'Oreal Collagen Infused or Hydro Collagen Mascara on top of it. But this one is so natural, but yet it gives just enough length and not a lot of volume, but a lot of separation. A lot of separation and a natural effect to the lashes that I like it very much so. Even if I fix up my makeup really nicely, I don't mind using this mascara, even though it looks very natural, but this is very, very pretty. And um, I have to say that the one on this is not the best, like, Y'all see it here? I mean, sort of, y'all see how it looks. But it's okay. Like, it's not too bad. I just can't use it on my bottom lashes. But on my top lashes, amazing. Okay, I love this product. One of my favorite mascaras. All right, getting into a few eyeshadows. Y'all probably already have seen this one eyeshadow palette here. This uh, Makeup Revolution palette, I can't stop talking about it. I've had this palette for, I think, about four months, you guys. Um, it is the Forever palette, I think. I don't, I can't, I don't know the other name of it or whatever. It's called Forever something. But I really love the shimmer tones in this and the glitter tones in this. It's so pretty. That's like a good look at them, y'all. I love these eyeshadows. Like you've got a beautiful deep brown. You have this beautiful like two or three. Is it just two? Like two glitter tones. Then you have a lot of shimmer tones. The shimmer tones I love. Like the shimmer tone Aspire, Attraction, Bliss. I love those shimmer tones. And then I love the pink tones in it as well, and especially the one brown and the copper tones. And this color called Loyal is the perfect transition color for me to start out my eyeshadows. So sometimes I'll grab this palette every day just to use this one shade right here to start out my eyeshadows. So this is a favorite. Okay, just know that that's a favorite. Probably won't put that in another favorite video. But I thought I would because I haven't talked about these. Yes, I have. The Milani All-Inclusive Eye, Cheek, and Face Palettes. Amazing. I like them. I have this one in um, light to medium and medium to deep. I got both of them. I like both of them. This one here, the light to medium, gives me like this pink natural look. Okay, and even if I don't use the pink tones over here, because I use the entire palette for my eye shadow. I don't use like the bronzer for bronzer and the highlighter for highlighter on my cheeks. 
I use the whole palette as an eyeshadow palette. So this creates a nice, natural, <clears throat> pink-like look, okay? And if you use just the bronzer tone, it's very natural. So this is like a natural palette, you guys. I really like it. The colors blend out very well. Just a nice everyday palette, something you grab really quick. This one is the medium to deep. I like it as well. Of course, this one has a little bit more like a pink red, copper like um color scheme that's going on and so when you put it on the eyelids that's what you get it's more like a red tone um bronzy look on the eyelids that i absolutely love and so this one actually was the first one that i purchased and i love it so much that i went back and picked up the other one so if you like more like bronzy or red light tones then get the medium to deep palette but if you like the pink tones, then get the light to medium uh, palette. That's if you're going to use these palettes strictly for eyeshadows. And that's exactly what I do. I don't put them all over my face, just as eyeshadows, you guys. So I like those. Those are my favorites. And then I have two perfumes real quick, you guys. I love impression perfumes. Uh, before you buy any expensive perfume, See if you can find an impression perfume first, because sometimes when you smell perfumes, they smell good, but you can have them on for a little while. And then you say, oh my gosh, my head hurts. So this makes me feel, you know, sick or whatever. You know how it is with perfumes. A lot of times certain perfumes can make your head hurt. So when you buy these inexpensive impression perfumes, this gives you an opportunity to try the perfumes out. And then if you like it and you don't have a headache and you're not allergic to it or anything, then you can go buy the original, which costs more money. I have two impression perfumes, and this is one of the best impression uh, perfume brand you can get. It's just like the original. This is called the InStyle Fragrances. Uh, these are so, like, you can't tell these, you can't tell the difference between these perfumes than the original. This brand gets it right perfectly. That means the smell is perfect. Like, it smells so good, you'll think that these perfumes is the original, the maybe the high branded one, the original branded perfume but anyways i have the in style perfume right here in um i can't pronounce this what is it why saint lauren uh black opium i like this one it's not my favorite but i do like it it's a bit strong but it's not too strong for me it's sort of it's sort of one of those perfumes that's kind of like it's like it smells like cologne but it's not cologne you can still tell it's a perfume it's like a cologne and a perfume it's sort of just it's just a it's sort of strong smelling so only a little bit i'm telling you just a little bit you only need a little bit of this not a whole lot and this would not be for everybody i just know it because this one is a bit it could be a bit strong okay like i said but it smells I just love the smell of it, okay? I just love it. I think I, I, I love the cologne type of perfume mix to it. I like that, okay? And then this one right here I've been wearing a lot. This is the, uh, what is it? The, the one called Angel. Uh, I really like this one. Uh, I've been using it a lot. I've heard a lot of people say that they like this perfume, the original. So I saw that this was on sale by InStyle um, uh, Impression Perfumes. And I thought, oh, that's that perfume everybody's been talking about. And I know it ain't brand new, but a lot of people still love this perfume. And I love it. It just smells so good. It's a unique smell. It's feminine. But yeah, it's one of those perfumes too. It's sort of cologne -y. It's like a cologne, but a perfume. 
but you smell the sweet notes, but yet there's cologne, little stronger notes to it. So, but I like it. That's just what I've been into. Even though the season is changing, these perfumes I think is better for the fall, winter time. But y'all, I don't care. I don't go by that when it comes down to perfumes. If I like a smell, certain smell, I'm going to absolutely like go ahead and put these perfumes on even though it could be right in the summer months i don't care whatever smells good that's what i'm gonna wear and everywhere i go with this angel perfume uh y'all i've been getting compliments everywhere like people been saying in the lines wow you smell so good and then today somebody said mm, it smells like bath and body works in here it smells so good i was like it's probably my perfume <laughs> So I've been getting a lot of compliments lately on the Angel perfume. This smells really, really good. A lot of people, I think, like that perfume. I know I do. So that is my uh, favorites for, I don't know, y'all. Y'all see it at the title. Um, I really like these products. I do. I like these products. And I thought I would share them with you. But y'all, I want to say this. Okay. As y'all probably already know, if you have been watching my Shella Beauty Essence channel, my car vlogs, or if you've been really paying attention to some of my makeup uh, looks or whatever, when I'm talking, I'm telling y'all I'm looking for an apartment, I'm searching for an apartment and all of that, I'm letting y'all know that I'm getting closer, closer to one. I'm getting closer and closer to one. However, it's taking a little bit longer than what I had anticipated is that right anticipated yeah um it's taking longer and longer than what i thought because there's so much going on and i'm not gonna get into it but just know this um i've got to get me an apartment i don't like it here and i'm pretty sure y'all have heard me say this over and over and in some of my videos if you watch them um, it's just, this place has, it's, it's just a place of, I don't know how to describe it. You don't, I, I don't like to be in this apartment. Um, it's just, it's like a tormented type of evilness with this apartment. And I really got to move. That means if I can't create a video for a week or two, just trying to find an apartment, you know, just concentrating on where do I need to go from here? If one doesn't work and another one doesn't work, where do I go from here? Like, just know that I have not stopped creating YouTube videos. It's just, I've got to find me a place to stay. I mean, it's just one of those things. I don't want to be in this project anymore. I want to leave. And if I have to take a few days even a week or two just to get apartment get the keys in my hand then i will start you know like recording videos i don't want to do it either you guys like for this week of course i'm going to do my fashion friday tomorrow i'm going to do my videos but you know i'm just saying after next week if what i'm going out for does not turn out well or i feel like it's not turning out good um, and I don't get the right response from a previous apartment complex. I'm just letting y'all know that if it takes a, a, a few weeks for me to find a place for me to stay, you will know why I have not uploaded a video. And I want you to know, I'll try to put something on social media. I will try. I'm not saying I will because when you're searching for apartments and you're looking at different apartments and you're out and about and you might be driving a little bit, trying to get things done, you may not, you know, you're not, you don't always feel like coming home and getting on your laptop or your phone and start putting stuff on social media. You're tired. You're ready to relax. And hopefully, you know, be praying that somebody give you a chance to get an apartment, okay? So, I just want all of you to know that, that if you do not see a video post 
in a week or two. That is exactly what I'm doing is trying to get an apartment as soon as I can because this is the perfect time to be moving. It's like warm but breezy. It's a perfect time to be moving. And I'm ready. Like I got a lot of stuff already packed up. I'm just waiting on somebody to give me the keys. Okay, I'm ready to give my deposit, whatever amount it may be, and first month rent, whatever, whatever I need to do, I'm ready to do that. And I'm just waiting on somebody to give me the keys so I can move in, okay? So that's where I'm at right now, and I hate to have said that because I love creating my videos every, uh, what is it, Monday, um, what is it, Monday? <laughs> Y'all, I'm just thinking of the days. Monday, Tuesday, and Fridays. Okay, listen, if I can make those videos, I will. But I'm just telling y'all, in the in the you know, in the process of moving, you don't always have that time to do all of that because I who knows? My next video, I might be in a new apartment. I might be like, hey, everybody, look around. Guess what? You know, you never know. <laughs> I'm praying it will be that way. I'm praying. Let's hope that I don't be right here going, um, this is a two-week update. Um, yeah, I'm still at square one. Let's hope that I don't say <laughs> Let's hope that's let's pray that I will be in a new place and I'll be hi everybody. This is my new home. Y'all want a tour? Okay, let's pray for that. But like I said, so far, like I know I can see next week the videos coming through, but I'm not gonna promise because next week I will have to. There's one place I gotta go tomorrow, and there's a few more places I have to go to next week. I'm gonna try to do these few things and see how they turn out and then if if nothing goes through that way then that's when i'm telling y'all hey it may not be videos for a week or two because once sheila get her mind set that she's ready to go like i will keep going and going and going and going until i find a place i don't give up and one person even mentioned to me um uh, just saying that if nothing goes through and you keep getting blocked then maybe you need to get an attorney because like i'm trying here and i've been trying all this time i want y'all to know i've been trying all this time it just seemed like every time i try it's something just like one like i said one apartment complex did offer me an apartment i'm not gonna sit here in front one did offer me one, but I didn't like the fact that the person wanted me to give my deposit before I actually seen the apartment. I always like to see what I'm what I'm getting into. I like to at least get an idea of what I'm in. And, and she did offer for me, she did offer that I could go see one of them, but it wouldn't be the apartment that she would be giving to me, but I could go and take a look at it so I have an idea. So she did suggest that, but I didn't want to, this is the thing, I didn't know if, you know, I, I, I just didn't want to walk into somebody else's apartment because if something went missing or something happened in or something is not there that was there before, I don't want nobody to think that I picked it up or I did something to it. So I'm very particular when it comes down to stuff like that. Uh, if it's an empty apartment, like they just fixed it, nobody's been in there. OK, I yeah. Or if some people have been in there, but they haven't like really said that they want the apartment, of course I'll walk in there. Because you got to walk in there no matter how many times people have been in there. But y'all, I'm just saying, it's so much shit people be doing to me. It's like, it's hard for me to do the most simplest thing. I have to think about everything because I don't want people to think I have done something when I haven't. That's what's going on right now. Like some of these complexes are saying that I owe them money and I do not. Well, one in particular and then this other one, but I got proof of everything for this other one. But the first one, I didn't do everything correctly like I should have to have proved it, but I paid for it. That's out of the way. But I'm just saying because of that incident right there, I'm very particular about when I walk into an apartment, is it? Is it okay? Like, 
this this apartment is available for anybody to look at okay i'm very particular about that so i'm just telling y'all i'm just letting you know that you know after next week we'll see how everything turns out i'm gonna create my videos i'll let you know what's up hopefully everything gets gets get approved and i get keys in my hand okay and when i do that then i can make i feel like once i get in my new place wherever that may be wherever god allow that to be i'll be able to probably make an an additional video who knows but for right now it's three videos a week and i will be creating my fashion friday video tomorrow and then next week, I'm going to try to keep doing that week's video because even though I'll be going to a couple of places, but they're not too far. So it's one of those things that um, I probably have to tape over the weekend to have makeup Monday done or prepared or fixed for Monday. And then, of course, that would give me Monday. And then, of course, Tuesday video. The fashion videos is very fast. Like, there are no problems with editing. But the makeup video, of course, is always longer. And I don't do a lot of editing due to the internet issue that I have here. So, y'all get it. But I'm just letting you know. I'm just telling you right now. If you don't see a video in a week or two weeks or whatever, just know that Sheila is is for real on this apartment like she got to like she got to get on it okay and i may not have time to create a video over here um just like i said on my shella beauty essence with the car vlog i feel like i'll be able to do a car vlog because i'm taking my phone with me i feel like i will but you know what i may be too tired to even talk because I'm going to be concentrating on trying to find a place. So I went ahead and told them the same thing over there. But I'm telling y'all, if I do not have a video over here, just know Sheila really concentrating, really, really going to find her a place to stay. Because I am fed up over, like over here. I mean, I am ready to go. Ready to go. I've been ready to go. I've been ready to go since, 20, since 2018 when I moved in here. Like as of uh, November, December of 2018, I knew that this was a bad place, but I had got sick and I couldn't do nothing. Then by 2019, I was ready to go, but I wasn't quite yet feeling as good as I wanted to, to be able to get out and look for something. So I've been wanting to go for a long time. So now it's the time to get my ass up out of this room and get somewhere else. Okay. So if I'm not creating a video, just know that's what's going on. And also, you guys, I'm going to try to keep posting on social media. I'm going to try. Now, it may not be every day, but I'm going to try to keep that going. Just let y'all know, hey, I ain't stopped doing nothing. I ain't stopped creating videos. I'm not stopping my car vlogs. I'm not stopping none of that. It's just I have got to get me a new place. I do not like this place. I have got to get out of here so that I can be happy. And when I come home after going out to get groceries or whatever, I will feel happy when I open the door and come inside. I will be happy with the way everything looks. Y'all know, satisfied, okay? Because wherever you live at, it should be comfortable. It should be comfortable and you shouldn't have like this eerie, terrible uh feeling inside your home and, and and it shouldn't be so much going on that's like what the hell happened like that that shit is bizarre so i i gotta get out of here okay so y'all get it now okay y'all get it <laughs> okay. i'm gonna let y'all go so i hope y'all enjoy this video this uh favorites video and i will see y'all in my next video uh hopefully it will be yeah it's tomorrow okay it will be tomorrow my fashion friday video look out i don't know what i'm gonna wear y'all i don't know what y'all let me tell you something this is a long ass video y'all i'm sorry y'all know my videos are long okay i was gonna wear something no shit no shit look like every time like 
Why, why is paparazzi following me? Why is the paparazzi following me? <laughs> I'm serious. I'm laughing, but I'm serious. Paparazzi, stop. If y'all look, looking at this video, I say lick it. <laughs> if y'all are looking at this video, stop it. Because y'all giving out my ideas. Like I just showed a haul last night, y'all. Last night in the dark with my ring light inside my car. I showed a beautiful orange, like a, a peachy orange outfit. And I'll be damned, I woke up and somebody had a video with the same damn clothes on. Well, except he's a man, I'm a woman. But it was the same damn color. I was like, what the fuck? Because, you know, I was thinking about doing the red dress. And I said, well, you know what? I can hold out a little longer for the red dress. Okay. Um... So I thought about my orange outfit because it's so super sexy. Let me show it to y'all. Let me show it to y'all what I what I had planned on showing y'all. I don't really want to show y'all because if I show y'all, then y'all know which one I'm gonna that I had in plan to put on because I just got this outfit last night. So I was like, that's what I want to wear for Fashion Friday. I think it'd be laid back, but it's a little sexy. But you know what? I might end up wearing it anyway. I probably wear it anyway, regardless. It's like, shit, I can't buy anything. Y'all, paparazzi. How many times I have to tell y'all I'm freaking famous? <laughs> they know everything. They know what I buy. What the hell? Like, paparazzi. Like, what the hell? Paparazzi. Like, for real. Like, y'all y'all trying to spoil all of my ideas and shit. Y'all all up in my place. Y'all got people just following me home. Then when I go in stores, people come in the stores behind me. Like, I know it's a free world. Everybody get to go wherever the wherever they want to i know i'm not trying to, to that's all right okay that's all right but damn let my ideas be my ideas like this this outfit is so vibrant so pretty and so beautiful for spring it's like the perfect color of spring it's vibrant it's very like so pretty the top is gonna be so romantic and so beautiful but yet casual this look is gonna be somewhat casual but yet very pretty you know what i think i'm gonna do it anyways i think i'm gonna do it anyways regardless of what i woke up to this morning and i said who in the hell is putting this on my feed like who is doing this who is putting this on my feed not that it's a bad thing but I feel like this is paparazzi type of shit. Like, what the hell? Who saw me get that outfit? Like, don't y'all get upset when you're thinking about doing something and then something? <laughs> y'all don't even try to play like y'all don't be upset. If you get ready to put up something and then you notice somebody else have something. Unless the person have already showed their stuff for like weeks ago and then you decide to show it then it's different because you're showing it to your audience i get that but like fuck y'all i just got the the outfit last night like last night and woke up and that's the same freaking outfit almost the same thing you guys so I'm just like, what did I do for tomorrow? Do I need to go on with that? Or do I need to pick something else out? Because y'all know I got a shit ton of clothes back here that I could pick out something out of it. But right now it's all about spring and summer. I'm trying to put a lot of spring and summer stuff. This will be spring and summer. However, the bottoms are going to be absolutely fabulous. Like, fabulous. So I don't know what I'm going to do now.
We'll see tomorrow. Y'all find out. I just may go ahead and do it because once I get my mind set up that I'm going to do something, usually I go ahead and do it. Just like I told y'all, after next week, I'm going to be like, my mind is already prepared to do whatever it takes to get me a play. So I may not be able to tape videos for a week or two, depending on the process, depending on what somebody say to me. If somebody say, I'm going to give you an apartment you pass you got everything went through everything's good mm -hmm. yes give me your deposit i get i give them my deposit and they go okay there you go boom got your key okay that's when i can say okay it's time to get back to youtube but like i said she look mine is very focused on trying to get a part man, and i want one now I don't want it late. I want one now. <laughs> I want one right now, not later. Now, okay. So I can really get to producing some better videos and be so much happier and get out of this evil, demonic, like terrible apartment. Um, it's just gonna be so much better and healthier and nicer for me. Um. I'm allergic to everything in this apartment. I'm so allergic. My nose stays swollen all the time. And even my face swell up. So I need to get out of here, y'all. Like, this is not just evil, like, feelings in this room and shit and in this house. But this is, like, stuff that's making my allergies and stuff, like, act up. Like, it's affecting my allergies, and stuff sinus problems and also my eyes stay dry all the time like my eyes is dry all the time it's like i don't have no water no liquid in my eyes uh it's so much i can keep saying do y'all understand what i'm saying i have got to concentrate on getting me a place to stay okay y'all get that i know you do I got to find me a place because I cannot be living in this place and having all these side effects and just sit here and just inhale all of this inside this whatever's making me sick, this mold or whatever it may be, inhaling this stuff and making my and causing my health to be bad, causing my breathing to be bad, or trying to, you know, uh, uh, injure. I don't. I don't want to say it, but you know, I don't want to hurt myself when I can get out and leave okay and that's exactly what i can do so i hope y'all understand that and so that y'all that's the video now you understand and yeah you guys if you like this video like it don't forget to comment subscribe and also share this video so others can see if they are going through the same situation i'm going through which is trying to find an apartment during coronavirus and it's so hard because listen going through this trying to move during coronavirus it's hard to catch people the the office personnel in the office because they're not there all the time it's just certain days and i i get it i understand but i'm just saying it's very hard now this is the hardest it has ever been for me to find a place to stay it's very difficult so share the video let other people know y'all not by yourself i'm having a hard time trying to find me apartment and it shouldn't be this hard in a small town that i live in like it shouldn't be this difficult i can see being in a big populated area where there's so many people i can kind of understand like it being hard and being on a huge wait list but i'm in a small town it should not be as difficult as it's been you know what i'm saying so share the video and let everybody know that they are not alone if you are searching for an apartment and you can't afford you know your your deposit and stuff like that but it's like you feel like you're being blocked everywhere you go share this video share it and just pray for me if any of you do believe in prayer pray for me that the new people that i'm about to like apply for as far as the apartment pray that these people give me an opportunity okay at this point i'm just going wherever Okay, pray for me that I that the that that I get to the right place with the Lord's help. 
um, and that I will be happy and be good and I can settle in and just go, okay, now I can relax. Now I can enjoy. Now I'm in a more healthier place that I feel like the place is not causing me harm, but it's actually a nice, convenient place. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. So remember, like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video, and also share the video. And I will see y'all in my next video, and take care. Take care of yourself, you guys. Okay, bye-bye.